G'day everyone, Master Rabbit here from CapsuleComputers.com and here we are once again for another collector edition unboxing. In front of us as you can see right now is the Driver San Francisco um, collector's edition from Ubisoft. So without further ado, how about we get stuck into this fabulous looking little collector's edition. As you can see, um, it's in a nice little, nice little box very very big um, I can say that pretty much uh, we c you know the the driver series has been a pretty popular one for a while and it's come back finally um, and this time here it's in San Francisco the gameplay in this is amazing I can say that our review will be up going up pretty pretty soon but for now enjoy the this this little video that I'm showing you right now and I'm going to run you through what you get in this collector's edition as you know you're back with and you'll be playing as detective John Tanner um, in the collector's edition pretty much you get the uh, you know the uh, the game, the car, which is the collectible replica of the 1970 Dodge Challenger RT. Uh, it's a very nice looking car, very sexy. Um, we also have you also get the official um, comic book and a huge map and poster if you want to switch it around of the San Francisco um, map. Uh, so it's pretty cool. You also get uh, some additional content, uh, which also has four challenges in single player mode, exclusive to uh, the collection, collector's edition. Three legendary cars, which are the Aus Austin Martin, the Lamborghini, uh, and the uh, Shelby Cobra. So as you can, uh, what I'll, you can't see those. So that's basically why I'm telling you about it right now. Um, so you don't really see them unless you open the box up in the in the video in the in the you know in the actual disc package which I'm not going to do because it's pretty much a game uh, so pretty much what I'm going to do is run you through um, what you get in it so you can see them you can see it in the flesh and you can enjoy it so okay so I've, I've already taken the shrink wrap off it so it's a very nice open feel so you take off the lid looks really cool it's got the driver collectors pack at least it looks cool it's got the uh, little top cover so you can see inside it I'm going to place that down over there then you've got a I've got a bit of paper covering the um, the entire box which looks cool and if you look see in the back you can see the San Francisco bridge golden I think it's Golden Gate Bridge um, okay so lifting this up pretty much lets you get in one step closer to the love all right so looking at it now once again you've got the plastic collect going around it now you can see at the back it's just pretty much got driver blah 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 all right and get much closer to the dodge. I want to see this thing in, in action. So what you can do is lift this up one more time and that will allow you to get to the love. Here we are. Here we're looking at this now. Okay, so pretty much this is really a, a really nice looking car. Um, the, the Dodge 1970 Dodge Challenger. This is the car that um, Detective John Tanner drives around. Um, now it's really cool the way it's the way it's been set up. Now as you can see, it's sitting on like a little um, mantle thing, if you want to call it. You know, it sits it sits on this thing. It looks really really nice. So if you want, pretty much take it out and sit it on here like that. Now as you can see, there's like a little yellow tab here. This little yellow tab will allow you to open up and collect whatever's inside it. So you see, it's got like a little hidden compartment for people who don't know much. So as you can see, inside there, there's the game and all the other stuff. But Having a look at the car in general, it actually is very well detailed to tell you the truth. Um, it's made out of metal, not plastic. So it's nicely nicely organized. Now the one thing I have noticed is that, okay, so the wheels pretty much, I don't know, they turn a little bit. You can take this off as you can, you know, as you can see, uh, you might not be able to see it, but there is a there's elastic on it. Now, I, I don't know, totally up to you. You can, you could leave it on this. It looks really nice because it's got, at least it's got like, you know, the, the driver things around the side. It looks really cool. Um, but as you can see, it's part of a, it's part of a, you know, it's part of a, um, you know, piece of road. But that is the, the that is the, the, if you think of it, there it is in there. You can see it inside. It's got its little stand that you know it, you, you don't have to leave it on this on this collective pack thing so it's it's really nice uh, the, the detail to the car is nicely done but unfortunately nothing opens up so you can't pretty much you know you can't pop the you can't pop the hood um, you can't you know do anything really exciting with it it's not like a movable car that the back wheels the back wheels do move as you can see 
Okay, um, and so does this one here, but just barely because this one's actually touching the ground. Um, and then there's also like it looks like the the car's smashed into a newspaper stand. And as you can see, there's a little pic there's like a little newspapers. And if it looks really really cool, if you look really carefully, it actually shows a picture of um, a driver. As you can see, a driver there looks good. Um, and there's and there's another one just there too. So it, it's just basically driving into a, a gar like a newspaper a newspaper thing. So that is um, the car. Now I, I basically this is the main main thing that you are pretty much paying your money's worth. So if you're a really big fan of the game and you love the the charger, this is perfect. You know because you know as I said you can leave it on here or you can take it off. Um, from what I can from what you can see you can take it off the elastic, and I'll, I'll pretty much I'll show that now. You can take it off the elastic. And by taking it off the elastic, okay, there you go, and that's it. So you can see that it's made by Ubisoft, 2010 Ubisoft Entertainment Reserve, um, Chrysler Group as well, as you know, because the car is a Charger, Dodge Challenger, sorry, my bad. Um, so pretty much, you know that if you want, you can take it out, just put it there like that, done, okay? But in my honest opinion, it does look nice on here, and it looks nice when you sit it on, when you sit it on top. So in in my opinion, it looks nicer because you can see driver here, driver just driver just there as well. So I think it's a pretty cool little um, pretty cool little thing. So that is the car, the the the, the cha um, what am I gonna call it? The the nineteen seventy Dodge Challenger RT looks really cool. If you look really close there, you can see that it says Dodge, and it's got a driver's license DRV 5 so that is the car. This is pretty much what you're paying your money's worth to get in this collector's edition. Alrighty, so that is it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sit him right there. Right there, here you go. Right there, sit there quietly. Don't move. It probably won't, it won't, won't drop off. Alright, so taking this lid off, we'll throw this over there. Now, as you know, here is the game. There you go. Pretty much straightforward. You get this with every time, you know, with every game. You know, the, this is no different. The box is no different. This is a standard Xbox 360 uh, box. It's got, you know, it gives you the rundown, what you get, what you see. I'm not going to open it up. Uh, pretty much, it is a uh, standard game box. Okay, disc inside, instructions inside. Pretty much, that's it. You'll have the codes in there as well, but I'm not going to take them out. All right, so that is the game. Let's put the game right there so you guys can see it. Now, next thing, okay, is the official comic book by David Lapham and Greg Scott. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to continue making these official comic books, but as you can see, this is number one, and it looks pretty cool. So I had a quick look at it before. We can skip them through it very quickly. Um, and it gives you, it's a couple of pages worth, you know, I think we're looking at about a couple of, you know, at least 10 pages or so of comic um, information. Um, it gives you a rundown, what's going on, as you know. Uh, a good story to, to Driver as well. I have to say that by playing, by playing this game um, initially when we were doing the preview build, it's amazing. You know, listening to the storyline at the beginning was just crazy. I was just watching and listening. I, I, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to, turn it off. I just wanted to keep on playing it. So I, I could say that it was really, really good. They've done a great job with it. Ubisoft and Reflections have done a fantastic job with this. So I would say um, the story does go well. The comic book fits with it. Um, I think that you guys will, if anyone that picks this up will get a really, will have, will get their money's worth. Honestly, will get their money's worth, especially if they're, if they're looking into a story-based driven title game. Uh, and this is what I believe Ubisoft have done very, very well. So, okay, this is the comic book. I know I'm blabbering on at the same time, but I'm just showing you every page per page because it's not, it's not actually very big. And as you can see, there is Jericho. You don't like Jericho. A lot of people don't like Jericho. And here, there is, um, Jer uh, there is uh, John Tanner's um, partner, Tobias Jones. He's a cool dude. And there is our man... Mr. John Tanner. Alrighty, so that is the comic book. Looks really cool. How about I put it right over here? And the last thing you get, last but not least, is this is huge. I don't think I'll be able to show you this entire page thing in, uh, in front of everybody because you know, the camera is pretty small. Um, oh, the screen is pretty small. This is, first of all, a map, a map of uh, San Francisco, and also a driver to a driver San Francisco um, poster. So you get in the poster. Uh, I'm not, you're not going to be able to see this whole thing in, in total, but as you can see, this is the poster, you get the poster, as you can see the total, 
uh, of the, uh, if it looks, if you think of it, you're looking at that right there. That is the poster, okay? So, I'm not going to bore you to tears, but on the other side, if I can just switch it, switch it around and bring it up on the screen, there you go. This is the map of San Francisco. If you like, I can show it to you just up a little bit higher. So, there you go. This is, you're looking at the map. Um, and also, it, it does give you a rundown. If you bring it up, bring it up really cl closely, it tells you all the stuff there, like the challenges, the stunts, the actions, the activities that you can do. And if you do zoom, if I zoom in and show you, as you can see, um, you've got all the different sections of the map, which basically tell you where everything is. So if you like, this will come in handy and it will also be a bit of a help when you try and find what you or where you need to go. The map will always tell you where it is, but this is also a pretty cool way of um, figuring out if you get stuck somewhere um, and you want to look, oh, okay, where is the challenge for the speed or the stunt or the action, it's in here and you'll be able to find it from there. So that is it in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Driver San Francisco Collector's Edition. Um, now, I have to say that for the price that we have, that I purchased it for, which is recommended retail price here in Australia, we are looking at $130 for this entire package, which I believe is, in my honest opinion, a little bit too expensive because of the Australian dollar is a pretty is pretty strong at the moment, and it's you know we should be getting it for a little bit cheaper than that, but unfortunately we're not um, due to probably import taxes and all that sort of you know bad stuff that's going on in the world. Um, but this is pretty much it, $130 for the collector's edition. If you are a big fan, I would recommend you get this game, especially for this little car. This is amazing, um, and. And I would say, even if you, like I said, if you don't want to get the collector's edition, pick up the standard. Pick up the standard. This game is amazing. Remember to check out the, the review. We're going to be posting out on the site in the next few days. Check it out because this game is fantastic. I'm going to tell you we're going to get it a very high score for sure. Because from what we've seen and what I've played with it so far, it's going to be fantastic. All right, so pretty much that's it. Master Rabbit. Thank you for listening. Master Abbott is going to be signing out from CapturedComputers.com. If you have any questions or queries, leave them in the post down below or like us on the YouTube channel, which you're going to be seeing this on, and leave your questions there or anything you like. So, Master Abbott signing out from CapturedComputers.com. Thank you for listening. Good night.